you guys and welcome to another session with Tea Time with Sonia. I am up here hoping that you guys are having a great Sunday. I am having a great Sunday. I happen to be home alone. The kids are gone at a birthday party. The hubby is gone out doing ministry work. And I just happen to be home able to get some peace and quiet and get some work done. So I was in this process of prepping the last section of my counter space that needed to be done for the DIY uh, countertop revamp that I had did. And while I'm waiting on the primer to dry, I was like, hmm, my package came in the mail with my fabric in it as well. And I said, okay, let me just go ahead and get started on reupholstering these chairs. Now this chair, I got, it's got four chairs in it. It's got a bench and a nice hard wooden table. And I got it for, I think a hundred, hundred, hundred twenty-five dollars off, off of Facebook. Very, very worth much more. The wife just wanted to change up her house and she got rid of it and I was able to benefit from it. So I don't like this pattern. This happens to be black and white. As you can see, I've already taken it off. This happens to be black and white and I really wasn't going for a black and white feel in my kitchen. And I have this nice tiff sh different shades of the Tiffany blue that or teal blue with um, a lot of fall colors. I do a lot of oranges and yellows um, and browns. I love pumpkins. I don't eat pumpkins, but I love pumpkins. <laughs> so I have that in there and I wanted to just get in here and find something that I could do with these chairs and make it match. So my friend was like, real close to the chair, Sonia. I'm sure you could figure out what to do with it. Okay, sorry about that. I had to cut what I was saying short because I was getting a phone call. But I found this fabric here on Amazon Prime and I like that it has a little bit going on, but not too much and it is pulling out some of the colors. So, this is the cushion that we're going to be. Let me move y'all back some. There y'all go. It makes you feel better. <laughs> oh, card. This is the cushion that we're going for, right? So, a lot of the videos that I looked at had suggested that I have a square that's 27 inches round. So, I just want to make sure and measure my own chairs to see because you want to have a little bit more room than what um than the fabric then uh you know than what the measurements of the chair is so i'm measuring my cushion and we're right at 20 inches so if i did do a perfect square of 27 inches around that would be really really good lee room for mistakes and whatnot so i only need four so I'm going to take this and I folded it in half and I'm just going to cut it in half so I'm working with less material and I'm not messing up anything. And again, this is... Excuse my girlfriend's dog. Parking in the background. So I'm trying to just cut this and make it even as possible. Um, I think I ended up getting three yards of this material um, when I ordered it. It just came in that measurement. And I was like, okay, cool. So we're just going to cut this down the middle. These aren't the best scissors either, but they gonna do what they gotta do today. Y'all gonna cut this today, that's what you gonna do. Y'all swear this is not cutting right. Why didn't I wanna cut when I get on camera? 
This is what I like about DIYs because everything that you plan doesn't go according to plan. There we go. Y'all hear my best friend in the back? She's dying in there with that hacking call. Say hi to everyone, Erica. We're actually not going to be able to, this is going to be a two-part video. Only because the second part of what I need, the other tool that I need is not going to be here until tomorrow. And that happens to be the staple gun. So what I'm going to do, because it's taking some time, and I don't want to take up your time on this great Sunday, I am going to cut the rest of this off camera and come back to you. All right. Okay, so I got this cut into the two halves. And I measured my chair, and it did um, indicate from top to bottom on the cushion that it was 19 inches long. So I'm just gonna cut, fold mine in half. And this is going to make four pieces. And that's all I need is four pieces of fabric for my, um, for the four chairs, cause I'm not doing the bench. So I just want to get these as even as possible because I'm gonna cut down the middle after I confirm that these are at least gonna be 19 inches. So that's all you would need to do is just, you know, to the best of your ability, once you cut it, I know that they're sometimes frayed in, um, ends, but you wanna to try to line everything up as close as possible. And it's always best to have more material than less. So I'm going to take my measurement tape once again. Just for you know good measure, I'm going to go from top to bottom and make sure that I have more than, I wanted at least 27 inches. I've got a little over 29. And I'm going to make sure that my horizontal space is the same, that I have the same amount of measurements as well. So I have the same, I'm a little bit, I'm, you know, roughly I'm hitting about 29 inches. So I'm good to go because I needed at least, I wanted at least 27. So all I'm gonna do now is go in and cut down the middle. Once you do that, you'll have, I'll have my four pieces. And of course, some of the chair will have a little bit more, um, some of the fabric will be a little bit bigger than the others, but it doesn't really matter. You just want that extra amount of fabric really is so that you have room to pull. So we're just gonna cut down here. I actually lucked up with um, my chairs because two of them were already not screwed on when they when um, we purchased them and my husband brought them over. I am in love with Marketplace because I like to recycle and refurbish all the time. So two of the chairs was not attached and two were. Now I have four squares that we're working with for these chairs. They're cut out. I am not taking that fabric, um, the fabric that's on there off. So you, um, it can you can do woven woven um, material is a little bit more durable than the material that I have here 
woven material, you'll see the, the colors come straight through. It won't be a solid white backing in this. But I really, really did. I really, really do like this, this pattern. Now, what I can do is go back and I can actually use one of these as a pattern. And I could double up on these when it comes to putting them onto the chair. My issue with the, with these is uh, not going to be that they're not going to be durable enough because this material is not flimsy at all. It's very nice and thick, even though it's not woven um, cloth. It is still very, very durable material. Um, if you don't want to worry about your materials being stained, then you could go in and cut out pieces of plastic to put to staple over it once you have the fabric put onto the chair. Just so you can see and do a test run with how it's going to look, we're going to take out this one. And we can take one of the pieces that we cut. You want, whenever you do it, you know, you're gonna send it over, but you really, you're not folding these, you're not gonna fold it under like you, sh like, you know, perfectly, but you wanna make sure that when you fold it over that you have more than enough space for you. You want to start your work yet? For you to be able to um, do your chair, to staple it over, because you want to, you want to have this room. But you know, you have room here to pull this this way, and then fold it over, and fold it over, and you will have enough room for it to be cushioned. Now, if you wanted to, and you wanted to get rid of this pattern, take this off. You can easily just take these this backing this material off and take the backing off. I honestly don't want to. I feel like it's going to add more protection to it. So when you see me again, it will be in a part two of this one where we're actually going in and put adhering and stapling these to the cushion and getting it done. It would have been completed today, but Amazon Prime would not let me be great and deliver all my packages in one day. They delivered it in two deliveries, so part two will be filmed tomorrow. I'll do my best. <laughs> if you only saw what I was just seeing. I'm going to do my best to go ahead and get them spliced together, but I don't want you guys sitting here looking at a 30-minute video at one time. So, see you in part two.